In honor of New York Fashion Week's 2025 fall show, we are revealing the engineering making today's glamour possible. But when style meets tech, who's truly engineering the future of fashion? Hello, circuiteers, fierce walks, statuesque frames, and some gag-worthy looks. This week, we're talking about New York Fashion Week 2025. But first, in preparation for the fall shows, we're taking a look at the engineers behind a few spring shows. Malcolm G. McLaren is a civil and structural engineer and also the founder of McLaren Engineering Group. In the spring of this year, McLaren Entertainment and their marine engineering teams were integral in bringing to life the visions of some of fashion's biggest names. This engineering didn't just support the shows, it shaped them. For Kate, the luxury women's brand that's an authority across multiple categories, including cashmere, knitwear, Japanese denim, and evening wear, engineers constructed a runway featuring multiple runs of truss, supporting lighting and sound along both sides. And at the end of the runway, McLaren engineers provided structural support to ensure stability and safety throughout the event. For Tory Birch's show, McLaren engineered a ground-supported truss system, also designed to support lighting and sound, creating the perfect indoor setting for the designer's iconic collection. And for Tommy Hilfiger, McLaren's engineering team went where fashion rarely dares, onto the water. By conducting a temporary mooring analysis, they ensured that a Staten Island ferry could safely anchor at Pier 17, turning the Hudson River into a runway. These three shows, they weren't just fashion shows, they were spectacles engineered to perfection. From engineering the catwalk to engineering the body, we're now taking a look at a company that's reshaping the runways of Vancouver. Allele's prosthetic covers debuted at its first runway show in Vancouver. It proved to be a landmark moment for inclusivity in fashion. The models were brought together for the first time from all over the U.S. and Canada to showcase a look designed specifically for them. The prosthetic covers that engineers at Allele's have created aren't just accessories, they are creative expressions. Allele's covers aren't 3D printed, but rather manufactured from a single piece of FDA grade ABS plastic, a common thermoplastic known for its strength, durability, and relatively low cost. Engineers devised an intuitive fastening system with polyurethane straps, giving wearers the ability to switch designs for different styles, activities, or occasions. Allele's covers restore symmetry and are engineered to shield against debris while adapting to real-world conditions. Allele's below-the-knee and above-the-knee prosthetic covers have been engineered from feedback from clinicians and clients alike, so it restores the silhouette of the leg. And with 50 styles and 32 curated colors, Allele's engineers haven't just made devices, they've engineered confidence as well. Allele's decided that 3D printing wasn't the best option for their prosthetic covers. So who is using 3D printing in fashion? Engineers at Stratasys believe the future isn't stitched together, it's 3D printed. My mission is to make a hybrid world of craft methods and latest development of 3D multicolor printing. Using the Stratasys J850 textile 3D printer powered by 3D fashion technology, a designer like Gant Goldstein will have full-color, multi-material capabilities for designs that can be printed directly onto fabric, garments, footwear, and luxury accessories, delivering results that aren't possible with traditional methods. Parametric design, computed 3D design, and aesthetics can now be created by computer-generated design flow that cannot be completed manually. Thanks to all my great partners, we can not only design in 3D, which automatically creates our 2D layout, we can make a wearable 3D garment. New York Weekly has said that New York Fashion Week stands as a pinnacle event in the fashion industry, and it may just be that. But let's not forget the engineers who are lending helping hands to this couture equation. 
Engineers have built the stage, created inclusivity and printed fabric for the future. Yes, style may change from runway to runway, season to season, but engineering circuiteers, well, it's always in fashion. If you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. And a special thank you to the Ming Shei Institute at USC Viterbi for making this episode possible.